The State Inspection Authority, or SIA, is expected to assume a more independent role in carrying out investigations into state bodies and will now be supervised by the state president. Citing Invention Times, the National English newspaper published on Friday, March 26, Vice President of the National Assembly, or NA, Professor Dr. Jilin Yeo He said, Placing the SIA under the supervision of the president upgrades its status and role. It should be able to perform more independently. The Toilet Bureau recently adopted a resolution to split the organization from the government's oversight. This means the State Inspection Authority is now an independent body under the supervision of the Lao President. The change should allow the State Inspection Authority to perform more effectively and independently, especially in carrying out investigations into the government's performance. The SIA was previously called the Government Inspection Authority, or GIA, and it was overseen by the government. The fact that the government is the target of inspection was another reason to justify removing the SIA from the government's oversight, according to Dr. Jalun, who is also president of the National Assembly Law Committee. The State Audit Organization, or SAO, previously supervised by the National Assembly, will now also come under the supervision of the President. The inaugural session of the National Assembly 9th Legislature, which ends on Friday, March 26, elected former Prime Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit as the new State President, who will have authority over the two above-mentioned bodies. <laughs> The session also elected former head of the party Central Committee's Propaganda and Training Board, Kampan Pomatat, as president of the State Inspection Authority. Mr. Malai Tong Komasit was elected president of the State Audit Organization. The session approved the government's organizational structure, which consists of 17 ministries and two ministry equivalent organizations, the Prime Minister's Office and the Bank of the Lao PDR. The structure has been downsized from the previous 18 ministries and three ministry equivalent organizations after the Ministry of Science and Technology was dissolved and the Presidential Palace was split from the government's organizational structure. The session also approved members of the government cabinet and some new ministers have officially taken up their posts. Mr. Kampang on Thursday officially assumed the post of Minister of Industry and Commerce, replacing Mrs. Kimani Ponsena. Mrs. Baikam Katinya now replaces Mr. Kampang as Minister of Labor and Social Welfare. The following are the 17 new ministers. Minister of National Defense, General Chan Samon Chan Yalad. Minister of Planning and Investment, Dr. Son Sai Si Pandon. Minister of Public Security, Lieutenant General Vilay La Kamfong. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Salim Sai Komasit. Minister of Industry and Commerce, Kampang Sai Sumpang. Minister of Technology and Communications, Professor Dr. Bovin Kam Dala. Minister of Agriculture and Forestry, Pet Pompi Pak. Minister of Natural Resources and Environment, Ms. Bun Kam Vorajit. Minister of Labor and Social Welfare, Ms. Bai Kam Katinya. Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Ms. Sun Sawan Vinyaket. Minister of Finance, Mr. Bun Jom Ubun Pasert. Minister of Public Works and Transport, Mr. Vieng Savat Si Pandon. Minister of Education and Sports, Mr. Put Si Malawong. Minister of Health, Dr. Bun Feng Pum Sit. Minister of Justice, Pai Vi Si Buoli Pa. Minister of Home Affairs, Tong Chan Mani Sai. Minister of Energy and Mines, Dr. Dao Vong Pon Gail. The two equivalent organizations are Minister to the Prime Minister's Office, Mr. Kam Jin Wong Po Si. Governor of the Bank of the Lao PDR, Mr. Son Sai Sit Pasai. The five-day session debated and approved a number of documents, including the five-year socio-economic development and state budget plans for 2021 to 25. The session also heard a report on the implementation of the eight five-year socio-economic development and budget plans for 2016-2020. Two reports presented by the Supreme Prosecutor and the People's Supreme Court, the State Audit Organization and the State Inspection Authority also delivered reports before the National Assembly presented its report on plans to enact and amend laws over the next five years. 
The National Assembly 9th Legislature comprises 164 members who will meet twice a year and to debate and approve laws as well as make decisions on other issues of national importance. Supaksan Silapit and the news team reports from the new National Assembly building on the Tatlong Esplanade.